Welcome to Tech Savvy. My name is Lee Newman and I'm the Executive Director of Campus Operations on the LaGrange campus of West Georgia Tech. <laughs> And we continue to have all kinds of excitement going on in, in our school, and we're so busy changing lives for our students. We've got some big deals coming up. I wanted to make sure that, first of all, you knew that our enrollment was up 5% from last fall. So we're one of the few colleges across the state that have had an increase in enrollment. And our Move On When Ready, our high school students that are taking college classes, that's gone up 40% over since last year. So we're very proud of those numbers. And we're just got get, get to grow some more. We're looking forward to some more growth. So um, we've got priority deadline for financial aid is November the 10th. So if you want to go on and get your De your financial aid forms filled out so you can guarantee that that your money will be there for you then you need to go on and fill out that form uh, registration for returning students is november the 14th and open registration for new students is december the 10th so put those on those dates on your calendar because we want to get you out there we want to make sure you have get your paperwork done so you can start um, in spring semester in january Okay, we've got us a great lineup today. We've got two really exciting stories to tell about our Rad Tech program. And we've got our first our first guest is Kelly Magnum. Magnum. It's Mangum. Mangum. Yes, ma'am. And she's a radiology technologist. That's right. <laughs> and so Kelly, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Kelly Mangum. I have three children. I have no background in medical field whatsoever. I worked in a corporate office for about nine years, so this is all brand new to me. Well, as being a mother, you do have medical background. That's true. That's it's true. just kind of like on the job training. Yes. <laughs> Very true. But so why did you pick the, the Rad Tech program? Well, I was in corporate for about nine years, and I just started feeling really unfulfilled with my job. And I wanted to do something that really made a difference. So I started looking into x-ray or ultrasound, and I decided to go with x-ray. Well, are you from LaGrange? I'm not. I'm from Noonan. Noonan. Mm -hmm. So you come down here because we've got such a fabulous yes. program, right? Yes. And excellent teachers. Yeah, I looked online between the Douglasville and the LaGrange campus, but the statistics for the passing rates and stuff was so much better for um, this campus. That's why I chose the LaGrange campus. Well, we're honored to have you and Thank we you. appreciate you making your drive every day Thank for you. it. Um, why West Georgia Tech? It, well, it's just really the clo closest one to where I was working at the time. I mm -hmm. would go to work during the day and then go to school at night. Mm -hmm. So it's just convenience. Well, how do you work going to school and having three children and having a house and you know responsibilities how do you work all that into a, a one schedule I have a lot of help so you have support set some support people like husband, husband father mm -hmm. my husband and my mother parents. and my mother-in-law mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep because you couldn't do it without no, them you can't that do is it. that is a handful I mean being a mother of children especially three that means that the teams aren't even they're not <laughs> we're outnumbered <laughs> you're outnumbered so all right well tell me a little bit uh, this is your you tell me it was next to last semester so you will be done with the basic rad tech program we're in our senior year so we have one mm -hmm. semester left after this it's mm -hmm. a two-year program mm -hmm. so we are almost done all right well initially your first year what all did you cover in your first year in your in class and you learn um, procedures positioning classes you take physics um, what else well you spend a lot of time do you when you go don't you go to facilities and work we do facilities? we have clinic we go to hospitals and orthopedic clinics mm -hmm. we rotate through um, different environments so that we can kind of see where we would want to work and get the experience that each place has to offer. Right, and there's a, you can learn so much from hands-on training. That's what technical education is. Yes, without and that you... You, you don't have anything to take no, with you. No. You, you don't have any experience. We've got some pretty impressive equipment at the school. Yes. On um, campus. The equipment at school is actually what you'll see out in the hospitals and the, clin and the um, 
orthopedic clinics. Right, right. The thing that I'm so proud about with our programs is it, like when you go to work, you're going to you're going to already have seen what you you know, you're probably working on in real life because we use examples. Right. Real world examples. Yes. We, Can you give me an example of that? Um, well, we have to go to the OR. So if we go to work at a hospital, it'll just be, we will already be used to it because we've already seen it, we've already done it. You've been in the environment, mm -hmm. so you won't be surprised. Right. Um, we've been in the ER. We have to go to the ER. So we get to see those real life trauma situations and learn, know how to react to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So. Well, uh, uh, overall opinion of West Georgia Tech, what do you think? Uh, I think it's great. Our teachers are the best. I can't imagine getting through the program without them. Right. They, uh, they're so knowledgeable about the field. So mm -hmm. it's been a great experience for me. Well, good. If you had an opportunity, somebody was thinking about in fact, I've got somebody on my mind, somebody's interested in coming to West Georgia Tech, but they're not quite sure what they want to do. They think they might want to go into the medical field. How would you convince them that maybe radiology was the I would direction? Have, I would have them come by and meet the teachers and look at the our, our machines and just kind of get a feel for what we do. It's a really fun um, field of study. So. Mm -hmm. I think if they were able to see the machines, talk to our teachers, then they would... That would be a sure thing. Yeah, right? I think so. I think in the past when I've um, interviewed um, other students, they've talked about what a nice, like y'all have got a, a organization of students that you work really closely together and it's kind of like a cohort, but y'all all get to know each other and work, learn from each other. Yeah, you, you have to lean on each other because you're going to see things when you're at the hospital that you're not used to seeing. Mm -hmm. Class is going to be hard and nobody else knows what you're going through except for the 20 people that you're in class with. Right, so right. they're a great support system. They're some of my best friends. And you didn't know them ahead of time. I didn't know any of them. See that's, that makes it a whole lot more special because everybody feels your pain because they're going through the same thing. Right. So they're sympathetic to what you're going through. Right. That, that means a lot in the process and it makes it a whole lot easier to have it to share with. It does. Well, I appreciate you spending time with me today well, thank and you. telling us all about your your experience at West Georgia Tech. <clears throat> I hope next year you'll come back and give us an update on what's going on. I definitely on. will. Okay. Well, thank you so much thank for joining you. me. And we'll have somebody else come on on the next block that'll talk about her experience. Congratulations, you're in college. It's a great feeling to be on your way to your new career. But guess what? Getting into college is the easy part. You have to finish college to get the degree. Did you know that fewer than one in 10 students will finish their associate's degree in two years? Some students take up to eight years to finish a degree, and many don't finish at all. When you go fast to the finish, you can complete your degree quickly, saving you time and money. Time is the enemy when you're in school. The longer you stay in school, the more likely that life will get in the way. And that could cause you to slow down or leave school early. Getting your college degree is the goal. The faster you complete your courses, the faster you can get that degree and move on to your career. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. Meet with your advisor to map out your plan to finish on time. Know which classes to take. Take a full course load if possible. And if you knock out your core classes early, your odds of graduating will go up big time. Your college has many options to help you get there faster. Don't get left behind. Meet with your advisor. Learn your graduation requirements. Schedule your core classes first. Take a full course load and take advantage of all the course options. By 2020, 66% of U.S. jobs will require a career certificate or college degree. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. This message is brought to you by the Technical College System of Georgia. Welcome back to Tech Savvy. 
My name's Lee Newman and I'm the campus director for LaGrange campus. We also have another radiology technology, radiology technology student. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and this is, her name is Kimberly McIntyre and she's going to give us a, like, a, a, tell us about your experience at West Georgia Tech. Oh, uh, the whole experience? Anything you want to tell okay. us, because um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to convince students, some potential students, to come to look to, to our campus to take a class. Okay. So. Well, if you are worried about not having a high school diploma to get into the school, um, they have a great GED program, which is where I came from. Great. And when I finished there, they also gave me a five hundred dollar scholarship How nice to is that? continue education. So the week I was graduating for uh, my GED, I was already enrolled in classes. And I knew right away what I wanted to do because it's something I wanted to do when I was younger. But mm -hmm. I had three kids, so I let them grow up and go to college first. And, yeah. and then I struggled behind, so mm -hmm. I finally achieved it, and I'm almost done. I know they're proud. Yeah. <laughs> they're proud. And you only have one more semester. I do. And you're, when you finish the next semester, what will you end up with? I will end up with an associate's degree in applied science with a specialty, I believe, in radiology technology. Uh huh. And then you plan to come back. I do. I'm going to come back as a CT student. And that'll take how long? That's um, two semesters, Two I semesters. That's pretty interesting mm -hmm. that you'll be able to do that. And it'll be good because I want to work in a hospital. I already know that's where I want to work. You're sure that? Yes. And um, we, get, we get to rotate through everything, but being in a hospital and having CT, like I know at West Georgia Health, they have a, they have a emergency room department that has a CT and an x-ray room. They're right across from each other. So, so you being cross trained both. would be good, really, yes. really well for a job. Yes, and some explain to me the difference between an X ray and a CT. How come I knew you were going to ask that? Because <laughs> is it just it's more in depth and deeper? Um, um, the CT it takes slice images, mm -hmm. and it is a little more in depth. They can see a little more in the tissue. Like sometimes, most of the time, when they order a CT, it's because they saw something on an X ray. And they just need to go further and mm -hmm. see what's in there. Mm -hmm. well, that's pretty it interesting. It is really cool. And you've spent time in the hospital, so you know the environment. I mean, you won't be surprised when you oh, no. go to in no. the hospital because anything could happen. Right. Blood. You never know what's walking in the door. Yeah. And so even if you'd be surprised, because we have some people that are a little squirmish and didn't think they'd be able to handle the blood and they're fine with it believe it or not you just get you adapt to it you adapt to it mm -hmm. i really feel strongly that somebody in the health fair i mean there's you're made to do it if you're not made to if you don't have the internal <laughs> i don't know workings because i don't think i could ever do you'd anything be surprised like that. you might amaze yourself and then like I, like you being a mother you've had a lot of experience yeah. in the medical field even though yes. it's indirectly <laughs> definitely so that's good all right well um you want to go into CT. You well, Tell me about your first two years at West Georgia Tech. Uh, like I said, the first couple years was getting my, um, what's it called? Core? Yes, my core classes. Mm -hmm. And that's anatomy 1 and 2, or 2113, 2114 labs. You have psychology, um, you have English, you have college algebra. It's, I know I probably missed something. I'm I took sure. some extra classes too. Right. Sociology, and then you have art appreciation. And How were those classes? They were a lot of studying. Um, a lot of them came easy. It was the anatomy and physiology. That's and you supposed think to be a book of rare. It, yeah, and you think you're when you're done with it, you're done with it. But then when you get to the radiology program, you are so not done with it. So I hope not you retain done. all of it. Huh. But it's helpful. It's really really helpful. What do you have like in the classroom or in the in the lab at the campus? You have examples to. Vi to take pictures of what kind of what do you work with? Do you work with? We have phantoms. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our positioning we do on each other, but of course we're not shooting any any, any X rays. So, but we'll, we have check offs. We line up. Get used to the equipment. When you first see the equipment, you walk in and you're just like, oh, I, I don't, I don't right know. And it, it takes you a, a good while before you can. Luckily, we have two rooms. I heard mm -hmm. the other campus only has one. Mm -hmm. So we have what's a GE room, which you see in a lot of hospitals. And then we have a quantum room, which we is, it's not as, it looks a little more outdated, but it is helpful because a lot of the orthopedic offices use right. it. Right. 
Right. And I didn't really like that room until I went to an orthopedic clinic and I was really busy there and that's all I use so I actually prefer that room so now. So when you went on your, during your clinicals, nobody really had to teach you what to do. They just had to tell you the process. You go in with a good bit of knowledge. Mm -hmm. They help you fine tune, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. like, and I guess like anything, any job, they're going to have a special way they want it done and that would be they would train you in that wherever you end up working mm -hmm. but you've got the foundation oh, we have a great foundation yeah. so that you know you come in and don't worry about mm -hmm. teaching me the technical side of it we can do that just show me what your procedures are right see that is so valuable to to it to industry to businesses that you know they don't have to spend the time and the money to train you yeah. you're already we, ready we get to a go. good head start we definitely do and with technical um, education across the board what we want to do is have you ready to go to work the first day right and not have to worry about learning what it is you're doing you're already mm -hmm. aware of it right. it's a competitive selection program oh so you try to keep your grades up for your core classes of course you always want you know you want to strive for a's math sometimes you just take what you get right but um it is competitive selection we have 20 in our class and we still have 20 that's, um, that's unbelievable. That's really, really good. And we're like a second family. Right. We spend a lot of time together. Do y'all have an organization or some type of club? We do. We have Rats Club. Uh huh. And we do a lot of volunteer work for the community. Like, Examples? Um, Paint the Town Pink. We go from the time everyone gets there to set up, and then we stay and help break down. Mm -hmm. And we help direct the runners that are coming in into the breast cancer awareness tent to where mm -hmm. they get some things. And we also help at the Women's Center in LaGrange. They um, put some gift bags together for the runners. And so we help with that. And then we take up donations throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, we collect backpacks for back to school for right. our children that are, I can't think of the name of it, Mikasa, uh, Mikasa something. But it's for children who are taken away from their families in the middle of the night and have to go to school the next morning and have new supplies. That's so important. It is. That's so important. And we donated 200 books last year. And I mean, I could just go on. There, there's a lot of things that we do. That's And we so have things important. in the works this year as mm -hmm. well. And it, gets you, it gives you an opportunity to find out what else is out there in our community. Mm -hmm. There's so many areas that we are not aware of. Right. And then you're... you're introduced to it and have see ways that you're going to be able to help mm -hmm. one day. It gets you involved. You really get involved and and see you know people are in need and these are the people that you're going to be seeing in your clinic sites. Right and so you make new friends. Mm -hmm. Well tell me um, you said you have three children how do you work your training your classes everything? See I got it easier I waited um, my kids are 19, 21 and 24. Oh okay so they're so, not even at home. Um, two of them aren't one's in college and one's graduated college mm -hmm. I have one at home. So it works out really well. It did I had to wait. Well I don't know how these other girls do it with the little babies it uh, would be really really hard. I bet it would <laughs> I, I understand. Um, well tell me about your experience at West Georgia Tech I mean we're trying to explain we're trying to get people to understand it is an easy process to be enrolled it go is. through the um, application process and financial aid and all that tell me about that um, being enrolled was really easy you just fill out an application you turn in your twenty dollars five dollar fee and pretty quickly you get a letter staying if you're in or not mm -hmm. and stay file your FAFSA you always have to file your FAFSA right. and financial aid and the school also has scholarships Mm -hmm. I re received the um, the West Georgia Foundation Scholarship a couple Excellent. of times, and that, that's a really huge help. That has to be a big yeah. help, because you've got hope that covers a lot of it. Yes, my hope did kick in. I needed 30 hours, and I finally got that, I think, last semester. And since I got my GED, I fell within the seven years of being out of high school, okay. believe it or not, at 43. So that was great. But that's impressive, <laughs> though. It's important. That, I mean, those are things there are a lot of people out there that don't have, don't know yeah. the questions You're never to too old to go back. Isn't that the truth? Yeah, definitely. And that, well, that's, and your experience at, in GED, those teachers, they, yeah, they were great. amazing. They were great. I need to go see them and tell them I got into this program and everything. They I, bet that was they my goal. <laughs> I bet they know. I bet they know. We've got a really a good community too that supports our mm -hmm. GED and our programs over there because I mean there's a lot right. of people. And All the instructors that I've come across have been great and the instructors that we have in the RAD program you can't beat them. 
we I, can't I'm get them anywhere. I'm impressed with them. I'm yeah. really proud to be able to say that they are they're our instructors. Yeah. And I think they're recognized in the community and in and, and in the region. Mm -hmm. So so you wanna do you wanna end up at the hospital? I do. In local hospital? Um, I won't be picky. <laughs> I know, I know that's where I want to work. I'm not saying that's where I'll end up at first, right. but eventually I will get there. Well, that, well, I think it, you know, it's pretty much, we work real close with the hospital. Right. Do we, and you've been working there already, mm -hmm. and so that's a good indication. Yep, that, you we just know, have to wait for those openings. Well, <laughs> I, I think that radiology is, is a good area to there go is. into because there's always jobs. I there. look right now a lot, and I'm always like, oh, I wish I was graduated because there's usually like a long list of them. Yeah. Because it's an in-demand in career, mm -hmm. and anything in the healthcare yes. industry is in in demand. And I think that if I went into the healthcare industry, I would do the radiology because it just it seems like it's not quite as like bloody, gory. Mm -hmm. You can it still has have its some, moments. It has its moments. You can still yeah. have those bloody moments. Depending on where you are, yes. If you're in the ER, you can, or in the OR, you're still going to see some things. Do like I said, you're stronger than you think you are. Though. Well, do we train you how to deal with people in pain? Yes, we get great customer um, customer care classes, I guess you'd say, in our introduction to radiology that um, Ms. Miller taught last year. And it teaches us how, you know, how to deal with them and how to be, ha be more empathetic, I guess, because uh -huh. I had no medical background either. And I knew I always wanted medical background, but I never had it. And um, so I was a little concerned about walking in there with not knowing anything, right. you'll be amazed at how quick it comes to you. I mean, when they give you the training and you know how to save their life, how to you know how to do all the, this stuff. The but, technical side, right? But, but the, the empathy, side. you actually, you come up with it. You really did never know you had that much of it. That is impressive. That That's made very sense. impressive. Well, thank you so much for joining sure. me, and I hope you'll come back. Thank you. I'll see you next fall. I hope so. We have a video. It's, it's the 50th anniversary of West Georgia Tech, and we have a video that I want to share with you in closing. It's, it's a great, great example. It talks about the 50 years of changing lives for our students, and I hope you'll enjoy it. It's, we're proud of it, and we're proud to be able to say we've been here for 50 years and the difference we're making in our students. So thank you very much for joining. Thank you for Thanks. joining me and um, we'll see you next time. You know, this is an exciting time for us. Uh, 50 years as an institution in West Georgia. That's one of the things that um, I, we really want to recognize that milestone. You think back of the careers that we were training people for 50 years ago to the point of where we're training them today. Uh, we've come a long way uh, as an institution and these communities that we serve have come a long way. We're very proud to be in West Georgia. We're very proud to serve these communities and uh, just look forward to the future and what it, what it can bring. Here at West Georgia Technical College, we have uh, technical certificates of credit that allow us to really focus on the skill sets that employers need. For example, in as little as three semesters, a student can go uh, from entry level to graduating a technical certificate of credit and be work ready with skill sets that are highly adaptable to the work environment and allow them to be productive on day one biggest impact we have is the difference we make in the students lives when they graduate from West Georgia Tech that their careers their life as they know it's fixing to change dramatically and it is so much fun to watch them and when they come back to visit and say y'all just don't know what difference you made in my lives and so it's just fun to see that type of reaction to it. Say I offered you a job for $75,000 a year starting out after high school. It would be amazing. Who wouldn't take it, right? I'm not here to sell you a car. I'm not a used car salesman. But what I am here to show you is that we offer this, and it is there for you, and it can't be given to you. 
It's not gonna be signed off to you. You have to earn it. But here at West Georgia Tech, we can make it happen for you 100%. West Georgia Tech cares about community and they care about the student and those are their two type priorities. And I feel like as an instructor, my job title doesn't sum up what I do because what I do is change lives. And I change lives through educating our students. If you think about all of your worldly possessions, there's a lot of things that you can lose in life. And one thing that can never be taken from you is your education. It's with you throughout a lifetime. Even if you lose that piece of paper, you still have that knowledge. And that knowledge gives you power. And it gives you power to change your life as a student. One thing that we've got going on here at West Georgia Tech is this wonderful Move On Room Ready program. And it's a state program. It's, it's, it's available for high school students all across the state. They are able to get college credit while still in high school at no charge. This means they can go to classes, they can get an associate degree, they can get certificates. They will be ready to be hired as soon as they complete their high school diploma. I heard fellow classmates talking about the Move On and Ready program and I really wanted to see what it was all about. And once I did get into it, I fell in love. Our school didn't offer AP courses, so the dual enrollment courses are really what made me shine to the scholarship committees. It's like the best thing to do in high school. Well, the Move On and Ready, like I said, it helped me get ahead, um, you know, straight out of high school. And I would be able to get college credit and my high school credit for these classes, so I was like, why not? Why not? You know, it's knocking two birds out with one stone. It's like, why, why not try it out? The governor's identified strategic areas of, of the sector of the economy that are really in demand. And so for us, one of the things that we really uh, see as a, a vital link is with workforce development uh, being our mission. Without having that key link, we would never be successful and have the right programs to, to align with that. And furthermore, we, we'd never have the funding we need uh, to support a lot of things we want to do without our strong partnerships and make sure we have the state-of-the-art labs, state-of-the-art equipment, scholarships for our students, uh, and all the things that are just needed for, uh, for a college to be successful. We can't grow unless we have the workforce uh, for the next generation uh, to support uh, today's skills and tomorrow's skills and I think that's the one thing that the technical college brings to the table of working with the community, working with businesses in the community to understand our needs not only today but in the future so that uh, we begin training. That's something that the college is, is working with us on to anticipate and meet those needs in the future. The work that's being done here at West Georgia Tech is instrumental for us. Uh, students coming out of high school are not quite qualified and ready to immediately enter our job workforce. Through the additional training they receive at West Georgia Tech, it enables them to be positioned and ready for our workforce, and we really appreciate that partnership with West Georgia Tech. Our people go to work. When they finish their college career, they have a job. They have an opportunity. With our placement rate you know, approaching 100%, we pride ourselves on that. And so that's the thing I think we all rally around as a team is to preparing those graduates, preparing those uh, people for the, the jobs of tomorrow and making sure that we have them in a, in, a, in a place that really sets them up for a great career. And that's one of the things that we really focus on. Nobody wants to be stopped by a law enforcement officer. Everyone wants to feel safe. So we've trained our officers to first listen and then explain. We ask if you have contact with one of our officers. You listen, give him an opportunity to explain, comply with his requests, and if there's a problem, contact us so that we can investigate your complaint. Listen, explain, comply, then complain. Our safety and yours matter.